Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. I got a question for y'all. The question that I have for y'all, and this is another video about sports. I've already done did a video about is there slavery involved in pro sports? Because, yeah, the athletes do get paid, but when it comes down to fighting for what is right, you know, like the stuff that Colin Kaepernick did and the stuff that Antonio Brown had did and the stuff that Kyrie Irving is doing. Like they faced a lot of controversy for what they did to the point with both Colin Kaepernick and Antonio Brown, the NFL doesn't want them anymore. But instead of talking about pro sports, I got a question for y'all college sports when it comes down to college athletes not getting paid is college sports slavery let's have a discussion about this chat with me engage with me drop me a comment in the comment section my fellow sport fans my fellow college sport fans my fellow college basketball fans my fellow college football fans let's have a discussion let's chat i i, I just have a question you know, let yeah, let's just chat and let's yeah. I don't I don't debate. I mean, I know that there's other people that feel the same way, and then I also know that there's some people that may disagree. And if you disagree, that is okay because there are people that do feel that college athletes shouldn't get paid. But if you ask me, I feel that they should. So to answer the question, do I feel college athletes should make some money? Yeah, why not? I mean, as a college athlete, you're one of the key players on the college football team, especially for these universities like uh, University of South Southern California, USC, U UCLA, uh, Univ yeah, UNC Chapel Hill, East Carolina, Duke. You know what I mean? NC State University, Ohio State, Alabama. Like, you one of the key players on the college football team. And you probably, you know, you know, even if you play basketball, you probably one of the key players on the college basketball team. There's like a whole lot of money that goes into college football. And there's a whole lot of money that goes into college basketball, too. But the sad thing about it is that the athletes, they don't make not one dollar. They don't make a dollar. They don't make a penny. They don't make a quarter, a nickel, a dime. They don't make nothing. And and, and, and they being interviewed all over by ESPN. They're like the key player. They're interviewed all over by ESPN. They all over ESPN. They probably be doing interviews with Lee Corso on the show College Game Day. Like, I mean, ESPN is like the worldwide leader in sports. But, and, 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 and you see... I also know that some people probably feel that if college athletes are not going to get paid, then college sports shouldn't even be televised. I, I know that there's people that feel that way, too. And, and, and you know, because really, sometimes with ESPN, they even be showing high school football. But mo most of the time, like high school football, high school football don't really be televised like that. But when, when it comes down to college sports, you know, I, I do feel they should make some money. Now, I'm not saying that a college athlete should get paid like an NFL player, though. I, I don't feel like a college athlete should be rich like an NFL player, but I do feel that a college athlete should be able to make some money. But not, not, like, a, not like a pro athlete, though. But yeah... But yeah, I mean, yeah, let, you know, let's just have a question because I know that there's a lot of people out there that feel that like college sports and some aspects of it, that there is like slavery involved because the athletes don't get paid at all. They don't get paid at all. You know, college athletes are broke. You know, they, they, they don't make no money. But you see, with all that money that goes, because I, I believe that there's more money that goes into college basketball, and I also believe that there's more money that goes into college football than any other sport, whether it's baseball, whether it's soccer, whether it's lacrosse. I, I, I feel most of that money goes into college basketball and college football. 
the athletes should be able to make at least something, you know, j just to be fair, because I, I just kind of feel like, it, but, but this is how I feel. This is my opinion. I know, again, I know some people may disagree. If you disagree, cool. I'm not, I'm not about to debate with you. I'm not about to waste my energy, but I just feel that as a college athlete, you should be able to make something just to make it fair. Because I, I, I just kind of seem like that's not fair. You know, you being interviewed all over ESPN because, I mean, Ohio State, Ohio State University is like the biggest university in America. And Ohio State, when it comes down to college football, they always dominate. They always kill it. Same thing with Alabama. Like Alabama and Ohio State, when it comes down to college football, they they have they have great seasons every single season in college football. Like when it comes down to college football teams, Alabama and Ohio State is definitely at the top. You know, when when you want to talk about best college football teams, Alabama and Ohio State is definitely at the top. But yo, yeah, to answer the question, I do feel a college athlete should be able to make something, but also feel that they shouldn't be able to make as much money as as a professional athlete. I do feel they should get paid something, but I don't feel that they should be, you know, rich like a pro athlete. Like you'll you'll become rich when you make it to the pros, but as a college athlete, to make it fair, I do feel that college athletes should get paid something, just to be fair. But yo, yeah, just just had another question for y'all again. Let's chat. Let's have a discussion, not a debate. I'm not about to debate. Debating is a waste of energy. Again, if you disagree, cool. You know, whether you agree or whether you disagree, it's okay. We're just here to have an open discussion. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. Love y'all.